Welcome back to AFAC's number one stop to entertainment and trending news. Recently, Murugi Muni did an interview with Lynn Gug, and it seemed to have been a wholesome interview. People seemed to have enjoyed it. People spoke about maturity, and she dived on various topics. And one that she has never spoken about is of her marriage with Zach. We know how that went or played out on social media. We have also covered that story here. I am not going to dive into that. I will link those videos somewhere on the screen or towards the end so that you can watch it if you don't know what we're talking about but nurse judy had done a video with receipts and you can see the exchanges that she was having with murugi Muni allegedly well this interview that she did with lynn gugi seems to have not sat well with her and she has put several statements and that is what we are diving into but before we get into that if i remember correctly murugi Muni had shared with lynn that her husband zach is a very private person and that story breaking out and all those things happening really affected them as a couple and at some point they even separated but not really breaking up because that situation was causing them so much stress and it was just impossible for them to be together at that time in a respectable way if i can correctly remember she mentioned that they have gone to therapy and something that she said is that not everyone is happy that her marriage is currently working people are still angry that her and zach are still together and that they are happy and sometimes she gets messages from people that are saying she's pretending to be happy telling her that it's okay to let go she did mention that she is genuinely in a happy place in her marriage and there's no pretending there anyway both marriages to both parties were restored Murugi Muni is still with Zach and nurse Judy is still with her husband but I want us to just listen a little bit on what Murugi Muni responded about nurse Judy that we don't take or add anything to what she said lady in the picture do you hold any resentment towards her i don't think so i feel like i'm indifferent yeah i'm indifferent because um whether or not anything happened between her and my husband i feel like the only person who is accountable to me yes. is my husband Good. my husband is the only one accountable to me anyone else is it could be anyone it mm. could be literally any jerry anyango and wanjiko mm. outside here mm. and that person means nothing to me yeah. literally means nothing to me mm. i obviously don't like being insulted i don't like being um thrown tomatoes at i don't like all these things but there's a part of me that that feels empathy that feels sadness for her because i'm just like if anything happened that made you feel like less worthy you know or something like that or for somebody to resort to certain um to certain uh, techniques it really must have hurt that person, you know, or what happened really must have um, torn apart their self-esteem. So I empathize just from being a woman. Yes. Me, by the way, above all, all women, I'm just like, I just want women to be happy. Oh, I want, want women, women to, to succeed. I want women to You're win. You're a girl's girl. I really am. Yes. And, and so I'm just like, you know, whatever it is, I hope that, I hope she heals. Mm. I hope she prospers. Yes. And I, for me, this whole thing about uh, I, I, holding a grudge is already, again, you're giving someone so much power in your heart. I just don't have space for that. Yes. I don't have... Imagine I'm a mother. I'm growing three children. I am growing businesses. I am growing wealth. Do I have time and energy really to be somewhere thinking about at this one person? I'm so angry. I really yes. just don't. Yeah. yeah, so I wouldn't say that at she's my best friend or whatever. Mm -hmm. but, I, but I definitely don't hold anger. I don't hold resentment. Mm -hmm. I'm just indifferent she's just a person out there yeah. who is not in my marriage mm. the person who I, I i am committed to and um growing something with is my husband and, and that it. is the person who i continue to right. remain um yes. you know who will continue to remain accountable to me mm. and who i will continue to remain accountable Good. And that is what Murugi Muni said on Nas Judy. So now let's get to Nas Judy, who is reacting to what Murugi Muni said there. Yeah. Clearly, she was not pleased with whatever was said. So Nas Judy shares, I guess me and being the bigger person will never be in one sentence. I have tried for the longest, 10 days, A. Eh? And she has a Google search here, how to be a bigger person. The two last weeks, I have received all sorts of DMs because of the never-ending story. And as usual, some bashing me and some sending me positive vibes after they watched that interview i am a big fan of lynn and we were even to do an interview back in april but i had limited time in africa when i last visited so anyway initially i was not gonna watch but it's this particular screen recording a follower sent me and there is that part that tickled me so i decided to skip the interview until the part they touched on the issue involving me which we have just watched together so this woman goes on to tell lynn googie that oh you know she is indifferent to me 
I don't have a problem with her and I don't hate her and blah blah the bullshitting that went on and on till the part where she said the person who was answerable and accountable to her is her own husband. At this point nilikuwa nanguka kwa stool cause this woman can win an award of pretense among other things. So this was in an attempt to paint a picture of how real, authentic, and mature she is. I really, really actually wish Mrs. Murugi applied her own statements when the situation happened. Cause vitu kwa ground was totally different. Where ata nisip kasupu nisinyongwe na mate. But babes, if you got to say what you got to say to get there, or she's so mature and real, ibaki tu mimi na wewe kwa ground ndo tunajua soma salt tulipelekana. It's okay. Cause make it make sense why on a big platform Belea Umati someone will pretend how she was mature enough to deal with the husband when he cheated on her but we all know that was not the case and receipts were there. She dealt with it kama wa mama wengine wote confronting the other parties. So sit down and lie in peace. Hatuta kuchapa kamam. If you really truly meant what you said on the interview, I dare you to explain then what was all the business continuously texting my man the year this happened. Forwarding messages on top of that you added more lies you kept adding salt to injury who your mama was literally waking up every day kuliza my man and me decide aje na marije to the audacity saying how that was disrespectful and he shouldn't take it alafu mbele ya watu pale kwa lean goes to twist her sweet mouth as usual to sound like a mature adult and ati authentic a hey, hey. claiming how some people don't want to see them together forgetting the same way she was literally looking forward to see mine come to an end and even adding fuel to it but my god does not sleep in luya v The whole situation might have subjected us to a very rough two years, but didn't we come out even stronger, restored, healthier, and better? Goes ahead to say I insulted her and threw tomatoes on her. Baby, when? Where? By stating facts, by letting your secrets out too. It might not have been my part to tell, but I did, and never lied even a single part, from noodles to Z. Let me take you back to when this babes, back in the days when I used to consume her content. She used to have this segment of advising women. I just recall how she would be like sis you already know what you are supposed to do your man is cheating on you speaking ill of you with a side chick and you're still talking about you're confused what to do that man is trash leave him then the exact scenario happens to her word for word what did the babes do This babes goes ahead to express how she felt sadness and empathy for me. A, a complete delulu this one. Cause if anything, we were all feeling sad for her. Ouch, all the filthy ill things her own person had to say about her. So mkiambiwa relationship, influencers will preach water and drink wine. And vile you run to them for advice. Learn to deal with your relationship problems. Huku kwa internet mtapotea bure. We are all dealing with all kind of relationship problems. And half the time, we all don't know how to deal with them with them problems. It's always a trial and error of solving shit. You make mistakes while at it, learn and relearn. No influencers out there have manual for this shit. They are mostly in the business of content. Khalil Minions will be here shortly saying, oh, you need to heal because hakuna sentence ingine mnajuaga. Uwanja ni yenyu. Good night. And that is how Nas Judy has decided to react and respond to Murugi Muni's interview with Lynn Gugi. Wrap to date. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified once for any new uploads. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.